Hello and welcome to another edition of the Avid Screencast. My name is Christian Förster and in this episode we'll look into some of Avid's Audio Suite plugins. Why do we do that? Well, I have a soundbite here where this guy is talking about how boring theater festivals are. And to further make this point, what I want to do is uh, slow down uh, his soundbite from a certain point uh, to make, you know, whatever. It's very subtle storytelling, <laughs> but um, that's wh what I'm going to do. So, well, first of all, we'll go to Tools, Effect Palette, time warp and apply a time warp to the video and we'll go to effect editor open the motion effect editor uh, look where we want to apply the slow motion I'm just langweilig so <laughs> directly here when he says this is langweilig so let's add a keyframe, say shelf, and say 50%. And there he's slowing down, but the audio is not slowing down. And that is what we actually want to change. So first of all, I'm going to trim the footage to accommodate for the slow motion. There we go. And now what we have to do is slow down the audio as well. The time warp always only applies to the video, not the audio. So we'll have to slow down the audio, but only from the point where the video is slowed down as well. So get to the keyframe and add an edit to the audio. So we're gonna apply the slow motion of the audio on this segment. So, go to Tools, Audio Suite, and the Audio Suite window opens. It's a bit of a clunky interface, so let's look at that first. First of all, right here on the left, you say which tracks it applies to. It's the tracks that you have chosen down here in the timeline. This is the drive that your effects will be rendered to. And this is the list of effects that are installed on your system. We want to slow down the audio, so we'll use time compression expansion for that. You can see the effects are now applied to the audio tracks and they're not rendered. That's why there's a little blue dot. So we want to change a couple of parameters. For example, you know, <laughs> how much we want to slow the audio down. And to change the parameters of the effect, check out this huge button here. And it will open the time compression expansion parameters. Now there's a lot of parameters that do basically the same thing. This is the source column and this is the destination column. And they basically say how much you want to slow down or speed up the audio. Now the easiest way to do this for us is with the ratio setting. And if you drag the slider up or down, you can see that this affects the destination column as well. So you could change either of these settings and it would, you know, automatically change the other settings as well. But what we want to do now is we have applied uh, a time warp of 50%. So, you know, we slowed it down by half. And we want to do exactly the same thing here. So what we'd have to do is have double the amount of samples in the destination as in the source, for example, or double the amount of length or a ratio of two by one. And a ratio of two by one is actually the easiest way to achieve this. But you can see now we have twice the amount of time in the destination column has in the uh, in the source column is and twice the amount of samples so this makes a lot of sense doesn't it there are a couple of sliders they can change the way the plugin works crossfade between the different samples 
and if you want it to be more accurate on the rhythm or with the sound uh, so we go with sound there's no music here so let's let's go with with more accurate sound and uh, all we have to do now is hit render and say okay and play the thing and see if it worked and it did work and as you can see here the pitch is not shifted his voice still sounds uh, exactly the same just uh, slower <laughs> What if we wanted to enhance that effect further of him saying it's boring and uh, also change the sound of his voice? Well, we wouldn't use the time compression expansion plugin for that, so let's remove this. But we'd use the pitch shift plugin. Again, go into the settings of this. And here you can uh, change the pitch of his voice by semitones and sans so you could you know change the tone of his voice just the way you want to so this changes the pitch of his voice but if you render the effect it will not change the duration so it will not slow down his voice at least not in its initial setting Again, there's a ratio setting here, and it works exactly opposite of the time compression expansion setting. So we'd go with 0.5 here to tone down his, his voice by 12 semitones. And you can see here, down here, there's the little checkbox with time correction. And if this box is checked, the effect will change his voice but not change the duration of the effect. We want to change the duration because we want him to talk half as fast as before, so we'll uncheck time correction, hit render, hit OK, and watch that thing. So there we go, we <laughs> uh, definitely changed his voice there. But with a pitch shift, you have to pitch the voice uh, by half. But what if you know wanted to change the voice a bit only and still change the duration of, of a sentence, right? Well, of course, there is a different plugin for that. Time shift. Time shift basically combines uh, both time compression expansion and pitch shift. And there it is. It looks a bit different here. You have different modes of how to change the audio and which frequencies to change. But down here we have our panel on how to change uh, the duration of the audio. Again here, this is the source and this is the destination only. It's called original and processed here. And we have a simple speed uh, slider where we can could just say 50% and it will do the rest for us and here you can change the pitch freely any way you like so what we could do is change the pitch only a bit hit render hit OK And we have the best of both the worlds. We have changed the pitch only slightly, and still the timing is absolutely accurate. Changing the timing of audio is something you, you know, rather often want to do if you uh, use a time warp and, uh, you know, also want to time warp basically uh, the audio. And with Audio Suite, you can do it. All right, this is it, our little trip into the Audio Suite plugins of, of Avid. If you'd like to know more about that or, you know, are not interested at all, please uh, give me feedback on, on that. That would be very much appreciated. Mail at avidscreencast.com, you know the address, I guess. 
And uh, also go to avidscreencast.com to subscribe to the podcast if you like, uh, watch past episodes, and uh, do whatever you want on that site. For example, donate. Um, <laughs> if you like, only if you like. You know, it's not mandatory. <laughs> and also uh, follow me on Twitter, uh, twitter.com slash avidscreencast, on Facebook, facebook.com slash avidscreencast. And if for some weird reason you would like to know what kinds of things I do in my day job, check out editguy.de. Again, thanks for watching. See you next week. Goodbye.